Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to this daily currency call where we share our analysis and ideas for a specific currency for each day. So today is Wednesday, we'll be doing the pound. So before we start the session, do help me with this poll. Is this your first time here? So just a quick disclaimer here, uh, this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both the long-term investors and short-term traders. We will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, and also highlighting potential targets and risk. So any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. Just want to take a quick look at the poll. Yeah, we do have uh, a few first timers here. Do help me with the next poll. Just want to find out where did you know about this webinar from? While you guys are filling up the poll, a quick introduction about um, LCMS Traders. So LCMS Traders Club is a place where uh, we teach people how to trade FX. And today we have the, one of the coaches of LCMS Traders Club, Daniel, who have been full-time trading for close to five years now and have been regularly uh, coaching students in the LCMS Traders Club one-to-one, -one, providing trade ideas, and um, also providing his analysis and organizing group coaching sessions. So do pay attention to what he has to share today, uh, as it will be def definitely be beneficial to your trading for the pound currency today. Just a quick look at the poll. I do see a lot of you coming in from the Telegram channel. I just want to take a quick five minutes to share what we have on the Traders Club. Yep. This is our trading, this is our LCMS Traders Club platform where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. It is the place to be regardless of whether you are new, experienced, part-time, or full-time trading. If you have joined us from the Telegram, you may find these signals familiar. You have been enjoying our trade signals absolutely free. But the question you might have here is that you are told when to enter a trade, but you do not know where to exit. In this platform, we only give you the signals earlier, to be exact, five minutes earlier than the Telegram channel. We also tell you the strategy behind the signals, as you can see here, accompanied with charts and proper five steps technique that we use here. Uh, and this system comes with a mobile app and you receive the uh, early signals directly on your mobile phone. So why we do this? So that in the long run, you not only earn from these signals, but you also learn how to trade better. If you require some coaching, if you are new to trading and require some coaching, we have weekly webinars twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. So on Mondays is uh, kind of like a group coaching session where we share trade ideas, update you on economic developments, and on Wednesday we actually do live trading sessions where we trade together, enter trades. Together, uh, and make money together. So this is the best time to pick uh, on the coaches' brains on pretty much any trading-related questions you might have. Lastly, in the platform, we have a wide range of analysis here or market, market watch chat room where you see all the daily currency analysis, our currency watch list, and on the trading floor, which is a chat where we answer all sorts of questions that you might have, and you can share your trade ideas, and the coaches will put in some comments on it. So this is a very uh, interactive platform, a community where we share our trading ideas together. So if you're wondering how to join the group, just head over to tradersclub.cms.com.sg. It's a paid subscription of only $1.99 a year, which is less than a dollar a day. Uh, so if you're facing any uncertainty in your trading or taking any risk on your trades, you need to join this club to get some guidance towards profit or some coaching to improve on your confidence and strategy immediately. So just want to end off by saying with a community of traders, coaches, uh, yeah, here to help you, trading can be enjoyable and definitely profitable. So if you haven't already, make sure you click on the link to join now. With that, I'll pass the time now to Daniel for the currency call. Okay, thank you, Jinwei. Uh, that's great. So let's get started here. Um, well, well, today is Wednesday, so we'll be talking about the pound. Let's see what happened yesterday and the past few weeks. Okay, so let's look at the charts. I don't know. Let's look at the calendar. <laughs> okay, now if you look at this right now, yesterday, major news 
uh, the major news coming in, but in the evening we had the call, uh, CPR, uh, call retail sales came in, was not very good, it was a very uh, worse than expected and worse than previous, you know, uh, we were looking at also retail sales, also both call and retail sales was very, well, not very good, uh, very bad data. But you can see in the charts late, uh, later on, not much big movements coming in. It seems that uh, ma uh, no, the, the investors and the traders were more or less uh, discounting this already because of the uh, CPI data showing quite bad as well. So there is could be possibility of that. So not too much news, not too much impact from there as well. Now, what we're looking at today uh, will be, you know, the evenings will be in the evenings. Afternoon CPI data for Europe's evening coming in, uh, 8.30 coming in, the US building permits, housing starts are probably going to have some impact and you can see the forecast is less than previous itself. If you can see here, uh, if it's previously going to be worse than forecast and uh, also housing starts as well or equal, it probably will probably shift down, weaken the US dollar uh, a little. Why I say not much, maybe a minimal impact, I, because I firmly believe what's going to happen is they're waiting for, you know, on Thursday early morning, interest rate, the FOMC uh, statements coming out and the interest rate. This will be a big decision. So today could be quite muted in terms of trading. Now, we, what we expect is we don't expect the impact to change the interest rate uh, decisions. However, it's going to be very important to see the FOMC statements and the press conference coming in the morning. Now, if we, what, why, is, why do I say that? It's because we're going to see, you know, although uh, you know, uh, the Fed chair already has mentioned, John Powell has mentioned that, you know, he's not so worried about the bond yield increase, you know, overall. Uh, so that's why he's not going to talk about even it's still early to this increase interest rate but it's still going to be the uh, decision factor people are going to probably going to ask and the statement is going to uh, mention it as well because more and more you can see more and more government uh bank of bank central banks are talking about it the ecb talks about increasing bond purchases to control the yield uh, yesterday bank of england governor also said the same thing here as well australia was was very uh, cautious so we will have to look at this if it does you know, if it really does, he did mention and say, yeah, it could probably uh, it going to go increase uh, interest rate. Maybe not now, but maybe uh, earlier if the yield goes up, if the economy is uh, overburning, he will want to increase. Then, yes, we could be possibly seeing a, cha a move in the uh, US dollar. In this case, you know, if you buy the purchase, uh, it does increase uh, monetary policies uh, well by buying the purchases. There is possibility to control the yield. There is possibility of uh, US dollar uh, weakening. Okay, but we have to see the statement. I'm not going to forecast this one, but this is a possible uh, movement that it could happen. Okay, and now if I'm now we're looking at pound and what's going to happen. This one going to probably going to be very slow again, but with GDP, New Zealand GDP and Australian uh, pairs probably move also uh, a little uh, in the morning after the FOMC here. Then will be the next one is going to be is the Bank of England. The Bank of England interest rate decisions. Again, similar. We don't expect the Bank BOE to change interest rates. However, in the meeting minutes, we're going to have to be seeing whether or not, uh, you know, as what Bank of England governor has mentioned yesterday of increasing bond purchase. What is their plan? What what do they think is that is it going to be better or worse? And they're going to see the reactions, both basically FOMC and the Bank of England for the next uh, days. We're going to see how the central bank's reaction to increase of the bond yields. What are reactions are going to do? If they're going to declare that yes, they are committed to increase bond purchases uh, for the US or the pound, then there will be movements in the forex market. Itself. In this case, that if they actually do increase, commit again, there could be a, a weakening of the pound as we seen yesterday uh, happen as well. Okay, so then on Friday, not too much uh, uh, major news. We have Australia retail sales coming in, Bank of Japan press conference. I don't think it's going to have a very big uh, impact coming on Friday. So now let's look at the charts. Okay, with that, let's look at the charts here. So what has happened? Okay, so this is the pound uh, USD on a four-hour chart. You can see uh, here uh, it has weakened yesterday. Weakened because, as I mentioned already, because the Bank of uh, England governor did say that they're committed to increase bond purchases to deal with the higher uh, bond yields. 
right? So basically, what this means is he's sounding very cautious about the economy recovery. He don't he gives doesn't give him very strong uh, confidence in the economic recovery of England. Okay, so that's where it, that's why it keeps dropping. Uh, however, it's really very nice. It drops, uh, but it bounces off the area of one point three eight zero zero as a key level here, uh, and pushes up all the way upwards here. And again, you know, there's a small trend line coming down. It did break up, but it's now moving across. Now with with the um, FOMC coming in uh, early this uh, tomorrow. Thursday morning, uh, Singapore time, okay, and then uh, Bank of England coming in, we're probably going to see uh, pound USD going to move across, okay, let me put it here, they're probably going to move across, okay, move across, I mean, there'll be some fluctuations up and uh, moving in, but it probably move across here, and then depending on the Bank of England, uh, FOMC statements coming in, and the uh, Bank of England, but with the idea of the Bank of England purchasing coming in, he may recommitted, recommit his uh, uh, commitment <laughs> to buy Christmas but it could continue to drop following the, the trend down, uh, moving down, and perhaps no more than one, no lower than 1.38, which is actually quite a strong uh, key level that is supported. Okay, it's going to probably going to be like this one here, here on a Thursday. And so, so what we we'll probably have is, I will, if it does indeed drop, you know, very quick, maybe I look at one hour chart here, you know, and I was looking at it. If it does in this on the, after Bank of England uh, moving in, and if it does drop, I'll probably be looking at a possible break below, uh, sorry, break below uh, this level at 1.3860. Uh, okay, 1.360. I'll be looking for uh, 30 to 40 pips of uh, stop loss here, okay, with a possible. So I'll be looking at this. Maybe no, that's too conservative. I think if it breaks below 1.38 here, 6.5, 6 5 here, with a possible 40 pips stop loss and a possible 50 pips uh, take profit for pound USD. But you know, it really have to be after on Thursday uh, with the movement coming in before you take this trade uh, of the Bank of England uh, tomorrow evening. Okay. Uh, pound yen similar situation uh, coming in. Okay, looking at similar coming in, it has not been able to break this uh, sub resistance level one five two dot oh nine six. Now you're looking at this one here. I I think what's going to happen is right now it's probably going to move in the uh, same thing moving across. Going to be pretty boring today. Uh, no, it's going probably going to move across and then till. So I move across here until it's on a Thursday uh, evenings here before you see the commitment and then possible move down uh, here upwards. So I would think that if it does move down below uh, 151.25, you could go for a quick 30, 35 pips stop loss for a possible even 50, 60 pips of a uh, uh, take profit target moving here. Okay, and then that's where the very nice uh, uh, support level 150.3 is going to be in. Okay, so yeah, so with then pound USD, pound yen, before we look at euro pound, let's look at euro USD. USD has been, this is really happening on the, uh, it is pushed down because euro uh, did weaken uh, overall uh, yesterday. You know, it could be really related to the COVID-19 that's the unable to talk about, you know, there was a minister, a French minister was talking about a third wave could possibly come in. And, you know, they are also not taking uh, one of the uh, uh, manufacturers uh, COVID uh, vaccine here. And then it drops the, late last night, it dropped all the way down before it consolidated back, recovering and hitting, breaking through with my, uh, my support level now hovering just below my resistance level. Now, we will, how we look at this one, so there is still a negative bias on the euro pound, pound USD coming in. So you can see in the euro pound wise, it's going, this has been supported really nice at this uh, support, uh, you know, intermediate support resistance level, uh, support level at 0 0.8550. Now, in this case, I don't really still foresee it to break uh, lower because of both seems to be weakening in the euro and the pound. So I will probably stay out of the euro pound pair for today. Okay, and uh, today and tomorrow as well, really stay out. Okay, so so this is one kind of the, the ideas that we have here looking at the market. Uh, so, so today probably going to be have some uh, news movement, 
you know, as I, I mentioned, but it's going to be very mute. It's probably going to be very muted uh, to trade today. Uh, for course, like FOMC comes in. So after FOMC comes in, the pound US, there are going to be a lot, uh, some movement feel of the pound because of the Bank of England rate statements itself coming in. So just bear in mind, trade safe. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? So far. Uh, they say, he asked, say, uh, Daniel, can you finish talking about the Euro USD? Yes, I can finish talking about the Euro USD. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. So that is the Euro pound. Will there be live trading sessions today? We will. We will, we will let you know today because, you know, before that's so FOMC, it could be quite muted. We will let you know. Uh, we'll announce it on the Facebook uh, page and uh, on the uh, Equifin uh, to let you know more about it. Okay, Terence? Okay. So, um, any more questions? If not, let me pass it. Will the same be affected on the Euro New Zealand? Euro, New Zealand, the Euro and New Zealand is probably right now. I think it's talking about pound, but okay, because of Gano asking about that, I will Paul, uh, go on and, and try to share the Euro New Zealand today. Okay, let me look at the Euro uh, New Zealand. It's not a, a trade I, I, I do often. Okay, we, uh, but I do take a look at what's happening. Euro New Zealand, you can see more or less it has been on a downtrend because Euro has been slightly weakening, you know, more or less moving uh, a downward direction uh, here. And it's probably looking at this. Let's see if the resistance is going to be here. Yep, this is quite a nice uh, resistance. I'll probably shift it down now further to take account the, the, the support level here. Okay, let me, let me move this away. Probably going to shift it here. And it's right now at below 1.6543. Now with the negative news coming in from... Uh, from the Euro European side, and they were talking about the vaccine here. If that really happens, a third wave, you know, we, it could probably drop if it breaks below the support level zone of 1.6540 around this area here. There is a possibility, okay, there is a possibility if it breaks below, I'll probably say a 1.6510, probably a 50 pips uh, take profits, uh, stop loss for uh, almost. Uh, going to be about 150 pips of take profit. So it's one is to three, you know, uh, kind of probably risk ratio. But you're really going to have need to have a lot of negative news coming in uh, from the European side and to cause it to push it down much, much further, just like what we've seen in February uh, this year. Okay, great, great. So, um, okay. Yeah, so they answered your question, Barney. Yeah, uh, Jim is answer your question on the chat group. You can join on the LCMS Traders Club. LCMS .com .sg. So That's great. So thank you very much. If not, no more questions. Let me now hand over back to Jim. Hey, thank you, Daniel. So before you guys leave, I just want to show you guys. I uh, just want to see a, sh a show of hands, or rather, put it in the chat. Who here wants to know how? The five steps strategy behind how we fire out signals and how we analyze the market. Who in the chat who here wants to know? Type a yes. Ping Tun, you're already a Traders Club member, so you should already know. <laughs> All these guys, yeah, you guys should already know. <laughs> you guys are Traders Club members, man. Who here? Who else? I need more response. If not, I'm not going to give out the free, free course, man. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. I do see a lot of you guys uh, here saying you guys want to know. So uh, give me a minute. Just going to share my screen. All right. So we are going to launch our four-day course again. So what's this four-day course about? Um, it will be held over two days. Yes, we name it four-day course, but it's going to help over, help over two days, day one and two in one day and day three and four in another day. Um, so what, we'll, what you will learn is the five-step strategy, learn how to read the economic news, tell the trend, find support resistance, and learn how to use the indicators, and we'll even provide you with the indicators too. On top of that, it's a fully online, online streaming, so you can do it uh, uh, at your own home. You don't have to travel here to Singapore to learn. And all these basics, uh, what's a lot size, candlestick patterns, chart patterns, how to open a Forex trading account. Technical analysis, fundamental analysis. So what's your investment? Of course, it's zero. 
two days of online training on the 20th of April and the 22nd of April, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. GMT plus eight. Um, yeah, so how do you sign up for it? Go all the way down, click on join now, and just key in your, register here, key in your uh, name, email, and contact number. So it's just simple, as simple as that, and you get to learn the strategy behind uh, how we analyze the market. I'm gonna post up the link here right now for you guys. Yeah, posting this up in the chat. So just head over here and uh, yeah, register. So looking forward to see all of you registering. I should be seeing 50, 50 signups. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the webinar today. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow for the Yen and Go analysis. Goodbye and stay safe, take care. Bye-bye.